You've probably heard of maneuvering speed, VA, if you've been doing maneuvers in flight training or flying through turbulence. It's designed to protect the aircraft from itself in case we do an abrupt control input like a fast pitch up, or alternatively, a gust of wind causes the aircraft to have a similarly abrupt change in attitude. You may also know that you don't find VA marked on the airspeed indicator like most V-speeds, but typically placarded like this in the cockpit. You might also know that VA, like most V-speeds, is marked at max gross weight. It changes with weight. Let's look at why. In straight and level, unaccelerated flight, lift equals weight and thrust equals drag. Let's say in our Cessna, our lift and weight are both at 2,000 pounds. The ratio of lift to weight is our load factor. Load factor is the total load on an aircraft structure as a multiple of its weight. So at equilibrium here, we have a load factor of 1, expressed as 1g, as in g-force. In order to generate this amount of lift to maintain this equilibrium, we have to fly at a certain angle of attack at a certain airspeed. Recall the lift equation for how these factors interact. Angle of attack is the angle made by the relative wind we're flying through and the cord line of our wing. Let's say here it's 2 degrees. Now, let's say at this 2 degree angle, we need to maintain about 110 knots, with a relatively high cruise power setting as shown on the tachometer. If we abruptly pull up on the control stick, or a gust of wind does this to us, what happens to lift, angle of attack, and load factor? If we all of a sudden increase to an 8 degree angle of attack, and maintain the same airspeed, we can see our lift roughly quadrupled. Our aircraft will zoom up in the air, but will also feel about 4 times heavier in our seats. The aircraft will feel this increased load too, Aircraft like ours are only rated for 3.8 Gs in the normal category, as shown in the Cessna POH. So pulling 4 Gs like this risks structural damage. But what if we're slower? Let's reduce power, pitch up, and slow down to just above 90 knots. We're maintaining equilibrium so lift is stayed at 2,000 pounds and load factor is still 1 G. This isn't the abrupt pitch up maneuver we just tried before. Now, in order to maintain lift, we need a higher angle of attack, 6 degrees. Let's see what happens if we pull back on the stick abruptly now. First, we'll double the angle of attack to 12 degrees, giving us a load factor of 2 Gs. Next, we'll triple it, we're at 3 Gs, but we've also reached an 18 degree angle of attack, our critical angle. 3 Gs, which is what we have at the same airspeed here, is within the load tolerance stated in the POH. If we pitch up any more than this, we won't overload the aircraft because it will stall. And when it stalls, it's not producing much lift at all to create these excessive forces. So in a way, the stall has saved us from ourselves. We were flying slow enough that the aircraft has stalled before reaching critical load factors. So by slowing down to this speed, we are able to pull back abruptly or experience a large gust of wind and not worry about causing damage to the aircraft before we experience a stall. The limitations section of the POH also lists the speeds where this is possible. We're looking for maneuvering speed, VA. At our current weight of 2,000 pounds, it's 92 knots. Notice that it's lower at lower weights. Let's say we're lighter. Why does maneuvering speed go down? Let's drop a 400 pound heavy load out of the aircraft so that we're now just 1,600 pounds. Our maneuvering speed drops, as the book says, to 82 knots. Meanwhile, our load factor increases. It's 2,000 pounds of lift divided by 1,600 pounds of weight for a load factor of 1.2. We can reduce lift to return to 1G by reducing angle of attack from 6 degrees to 4 degrees. While still flying at around 90 knots above our current maneuvering speed, let's pull back on the controls abruptly and see what happens. We'll quadruple our angle of attack from 4 to 16 degrees, getting us a load factor of 4. We're able to reach these loads without stalling since we're below the critical angle of attack here, so the aircraft is at risk of breaking up. Let's try this again, only now we'll reduce our speed to the VA of 82 knots for this weight. In order to do so, we're flying at a higher angle of attack, 6 degrees. We're closer to a stall already. Now, if we pull back hard, we reach that critical stall angle before loading up the aircraft more than 3 Gs. Although maneuvering speed is one V speed not displayed on the airspeed indicator, it's one of the more important ones to know about not just for the safety of your flight, but as a way to gain an understanding of how stall speed, load factor, and lift and weight interact in different phases of flight. Our private pilot ground school dives fully into the aerodynamics of flight, which are essential knowledge for your check ride and success as a pilot. Check that out 
and all Flight Insight Ground School courses at the link here and in the description.